Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, UAP, what we often call UFOs. The U.S. Senate has ordered now the Director of National Intelligence and the Secretary of Defense to deliver a report on the topic, and soon, by next month. Fox 13's Jordan Bowen checked in with a UFO researcher about what we could expect to see in this much-anticipated report. Since 2007, the U.S. government has been studying unidentified aerial phenomenon behind the scenes, collecting videos like these of possible UFO sightings. The Pentagon admits what's depicted in the videos captured by U.S. military is something they can't explain. When you see a video of something that can't be explained, it doesn't mean it's aliens. <laughs> It, it just means something's going on in the sky that we can't identify. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, thank you. In 2015, the U.S. Navy captured this video on a targeting camera of a UAP off the coast of Jacksonville. Look at that thing. It's rotated. This video and others like it are now being studied by the UAP task force. Just last month, this video of three pyramid-shaped UFOs gathered by UAP was leaked to the public. According to the Pentagon, the video was captured by Navy officers aboard the USS Russell off the coast of California in 2019. The fact that this was some sort of hoax, that this is really a giant pyramid spinning around in the sky, that, that's, that's pretty amazing. Bill Kokoleski with the Mutual UFO Network, a nonprofit organization dedicated to studying UFO sightings, has been researching the topic for decades. He says the upcoming report, set to be turned over to the U.S. Senate next month, is a major step forward for UFO research. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, who's part of the Intelligence Committee, ordered the report, telling 60 Minutes in an interview Sunday night on CBS, the U.S. should take UFOs seriously. I want us to have a process to analyze the data until we get some answers. Maybe it has a very simple answer. Um... Maybe it doesn't. For Konkoleski, it's hard to say just how much we can learn come next month. They have a lot to release, and I think that there, it's going to be more like a drip feed out to the public than they're going to release everything at once. Oh, yeah, Reporting in Tampa, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.